Hi everyone, welcome to our daily vlog for this week as we begin this next week with the Candles in the Dark material with Rowan Williams. And today is all about liturgy and about worship and about prayer. And so often when we think about these things, we maybe think of pieces of paper and words that we say in churches and maybe even songs or hymns that we sing. And of course, I myself have got my little daily prayer book that I use, um, my little Franciscan office book, my little daily prayer sheet and my prayer diary. And uh, yeah, it's part of, of who I am and what we've done together during this lockdown. But what Rowan Williams points us to is that prayer and liturgy is much bigger than this. Our worship is much more than just a few words on a Sunday morning or a Wednesday or whenever. What does he mean? Well, the word liturgy actually comes from a word meaning the work of the people together. And that work can be in many different forms. As a little Franciscan, I also think that work can involve the whole of creation. I was over in Banwell this afternoon seeing a, a young couple about getting married later in the year. And at one moment, what happened was the sun just shone through the stained glass window and shone over it on the side of the wall, creating a wonderful um, technicolor of, of color as it came through that stained glass window. And it sort of captured for me a very powerful image of what prayer and worship and liturgy are all about. They're not just words, not even just colors. What they are is a song, a song of God back to God coming like the light from God, coming through the lens of all creation and indeed each one of us, like bits of a stained glass window, and then projecting a song back to God, which creates beauty and wonder. And that spoke very powerfully to me. I'll ask Kirsty to put up the, the actual picture from Banwell Church. I managed to, to get a copy of it. But what does that look like for each of us? Well, we can so easily, even in this time of lockdown where we've perhaps got our little prayer book or our prayer sheet and our prayer diary, and, and we try to be as faithful as we can to our prayers, but we can feel quite isolated as if those pieces of the stained glass window are somehow separate and uh, not part of a much bigger picture because we may be bunkered down in our kitchens or in our studies or our lounges or bedrooms or wherever we, we share our prayer time. But actually, it is part of a much bigger song. Our song is part of the song of all creation. And that's why I'm down here in the uh, paddock near to the prayer garden, um, just catching the very last of the afternoon sun as it sets over the back of the church and over the trees, just poking through at the end of this day. And uh, it's pretty cold down here, so I've got my, my little cup of tea, but it's the first time I've been outside um, for a prayer time since the beginning of the year. So looking forward to this. Um, and for me, of course, uh, uh, Francis of Assisi is one of those great people who captured so much of creation. In one of his poems called Brother, Sun, Sister, Moon, he talks about this, where he talks about the interrelationship between moon and sun and wind and water and fire. All the elements are actually all interconnected and our song then becomes part of a much bigger song. So I'm just going to read you a few verses from it um, as we share this wonderful idea that prayer and worship are not just something in the confines of a church building for a few minutes of a day. Actually, it's going on all the time, all the time as creation is going on. And hopefully you can just hear a little bit of the bird song in the background as we share. And I can see just the very faintest of winds blowing a bit of pampas grass, um, with, with the wonderful feathers from the pampas grass. And it's really quite magical down here at this time of night. Um, a little bit then of Brother Sun, Sister Moon, written in the 12th century. Praise to you, my Lord, with all your creatures, especially Sir Brother Sun, who is the day through whom you have given us light. And he is beautiful and radiant with great splendor of you, Most High, he bears the likeness. Praise be to you, my Lord, through Sister Moon and the stars, for in the heavens you have made them bright, precious and fair. Praise be to you, my Lord, through brothers wind and air, and fair and stormy for all weathers moods, by which you cherish all that you have made. 
Praise be to you, my Lord, through Sister Water, for she is so useful, humble, precious and, pu and pure. Praise be to you, my Lord, through Brother Fire, through whom you light up the night, and he is beautiful and playful and robust and strong. Praise be to you, my Lord, through our sister, Mother Earth, who sustains and governs us and producing varied fruits with coloured flowers and herbs. And so it goes on. A wonderful poem that was probably the first poem to be written of, it, of its sort ever in the world, seeing not the difference between all things, but the interconnectedness of all things and how it forms a song and a liturgy and worship to God 24-7. 365 days a year.